To simplify the porting and parallelization of these two codes for GPU clusters. Welcome to Colonia Podcast, a podcast about the use of scientific discoveries and of technology applications. We provide the best information on projects participated by Colonia and many more. My name is Gabriella Bernardi. I am science journalist, and in today's episode, we talk about the Gay Project with Professor Thomas Faringer from the University of Innsbruck. Nice to meet you, and would you please introduce yourself and tell us something about the role of your company in the Legate Project? Hello, my name is Thomas Faringer. I'm a full professor in computer science and the leader of the Distributed and Barrel Systems Research Group here at the University of Innsbruck. So my team uh, is basically working on compilers, programming languages and runtime systems and tools uh, with the main purpose to simplify development and porting of codes to barrel computers, including supercomputers. So we basically have a rich experience with international projects, in particular EU projects, um, to collaborate with domain scientists, industry and academia, to understand the problems of so-called real-world applications and how to effectively paralyze these applications. So we work for several years now on simplifying development and parallelization of scientific codes, uh, in particular for GPU clusters, the fastest supercomputers in the world largely rely, rely on accelerator technology, but developing codes for accelerators and GPU clusters is really time consuming, error prone and costly. So the Ligate project has two important applications who wants to achieve a substantial performance boost by porting them onto the fastest supercomputers in Europe. One is uh, Ligen, a drug design application, and the other one is RSIM, which is from the area of cyber physical systems. Both have great potential uh, to benefit by GPU clusters, and the contribution of my group as part of this project is to work on the celerity programming and runtime system to simplify the porting and parallelization of these two codes for GPU clusters. So, in particular, what are the goals that you expect for the gay project? So, primarily, I expect to advance the pipeline to discover and design drugs for all kinds of diseases, possibly also for pandemics, much faster and with much better quality than before. Uh, but in order to achieve this, uh, I believe strong research and development contributions to the field of parallelization and auto-tuning for the fastest supercomputers in the world are necessary. So uh, even so, we apply uh, the project to two applications. The research technology uh, will largely be general, so uh, we'll be able to apply to a wide variety of applications from science and industry. And we will consider not only performance improvement, but also automatic optimization uh, probably also uh, improving productivity to simplify the, the parallelization effort and reduce the time to reach performance goals for larger classes of simulation-based software. What do you think are the benefits for the European community and for society in general? Yeah, that's an interesting question. So uh, the time and cost for creating new drugs is enormous, uh, which prevented many smaller companies to enter this important health industry arena. Uh, Ligate, from my point of view, should help to make this process cheaper, faster and more accurate, among others, by using the fastest supercomputers that are available for the Lygen application. Lygen and uh, the Legate project are also important contributions to become more independent from companies and institutions outside of the EU for drug discovery and development. I believe that's also a very valid and important goal. We want to become a bit more independent uh, and not having to wait for, for companies in, in Asia or, in the, or from the West to deliver us uh, with the re uh, required substances to, to create these drugs by ourselves, of course. And I believe Ligate is also an important step forward towards personalized drug design, which is an ultimate goal of pharmacological 
in medical research. And for this to become true, we need to find uh, the best models and algorithms that are implemented and parallelized for the fastest supercomputers. And Ligate works towards such models and parallelization techniques, which at some day in the future will change healthcare towards personalized medicine, tailored towards individual people with less side effects and less traditional trial and error practice of medicine. So, at the end, do you think that the Ligate project represents a game changer in pharmacological, medical, and computer research fields? So, I, I, I'm, I'm not exactly um, probably the right person to answer this question, but from what I understand, you know, um, we make a, a big step uh, forward. So it's probably a major incremental improvement, probably less so a radical game changer because uh, we really go on much faster supercomputers than before with Ligate. We have much better uh, parallelization techniques, auto tuning. Uh, we go on to GPU accelerated technology that hasn't been done in a broad sense before. So it's a big step forward uh, towards an incremental improvement for a drug discovery. A game changer probably would be a bit more, but maybe other people are more competent to answer this question. Thank you so much, Professor, for joining us today at this podcast, and thank you, our listeners. If you have any questions about today's show, you can get in touch on the gate Twitter and feel free to subscribe to Kelonia.swiss website and be part of the community. In the meantime, stay tuned for our next interview.